Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today. I'm going to cover with you today new updates to the FSD achievements and Elon Musk comments on Twitter. We have Carson Block and the Muddy Waters Capital story and Daimler and Bosch as further as well both Bosch one more time and Renesis. So if you do enjoy that, do consider subscribing and we will start with the FSD first as whole mass catalog um, posted on Twitter that Pure Vision Autopilot plus FSD Beta 9.1 drives from Los Angeles to San Francisco with zero disengagements. There was one disengagement after getting to San Francisco, but it may or may not have been needed. So we haven't heard a lot from the FSD and the Beta version in recent weeks there was the release and after that it calmed a bit down. So what this means is um, we had in the beginning of the year another try already with the Model 3 driving from San Francisco to LA and this way was um, much more difficult for the FSD and it needed much more help. And there was much more situation which were critical and at that time the radar and the camera were inside the car and now it is only pure vision. So in other words it looks like the uh, updates that are coming into the FSD beta um, over a few weeks you see a much bigger difference. So as Elon Musk stated before, they will send updates every Friday. Um, please let me know if that's actually true because I haven't heard a lot about that. And as we are here in Europe or myself in Germany, we don't really um, get a lot about these updates. So please share your experience with that. And um, yeah, so the development of the FSD is going forward. Um, even though a lot of people are still not catching the potential here. Um, that will happen and um, how Tesla will further evolve with that in the future. So this is looking really good. Um, furthermore, we do have some um, news from Elon Musk on Twitter. So um, Elon Musk on Twitter talked a lot about the Chinese numbers, but he also mentioned the issues with the um, suppliers. And he named with that not only Renesis, but also Bosch. And both, um, Renesis is in charge of semiconductor and microcontroller and Bosch uh, for the electronics. So he described those two companies for the first time as a supplier where they have issues to get enough supply to build cars. Just as a reminder, the Ford Mustang Mach-E is also delayed in production right now. And so here we do have the Twitter again. And what he also did, he explained one more time, and this is a big misconception of a lot of media um, outlets here. In the first half of quarter for local market and in second half. Um, so you do see Tesla makes cars for export in first half and then for the local market in second half. That is the reason one more time for all those that don't get it out there or watching the yeah, wrong media outlets that I have no idea. Tesla's local shipments were lower as well in the beginning of last um, quarter. And we do see the uh, difference to April. Yes, the local uh, numbers went down, but the experts when exports went up like almost doubled um, to the time in April. So it makes a lot of sense to um, say that Tesla has no demand issue in China. There is no demand issue and that's what I mentioned in my video yesterday as well um, because officials as well in China say that the registrations will go to the moon in the next two months. And so Tesla's strategy is open. I mean everyone can see it but a lot of people deny it and a lot of people concentrate on the decline of the numbers which are not the reason why Tesla is not successful in um, China. They are really successful over there. So we're looking at Grünheide and just going to the Renesis Semiconductor Microcontroller and Bosch Electronics. So these are the both companies holding Tesla back at the moment. So we have to see how this is um, taken care of in the next few months. Um, furthermore, we have in Germany Daimler and Bosch. Um, that actually work together for the robot taxi development project. What's interesting is um, they actually um, yeah finished the um, partnership here. 
Um, and before that partnership, um, Daimler actually worked with BMW um, to establish a level three autonomous future, which was actually also um, canceled um, the partnership. And um, Harald Kröger um, actually from Bosch admitted that there are challenges um, that are bigger than they actually were thinking about and that um, they will still try to develop um, yeah, robot taxis in, uh, in some sort of way. But we see that not only Tesla has a lot of challenges when it comes to developing the robot taxi fleet, but it is also big names like BMW, Daimler and Bosch. So it's not an easy task. And this is really supporting that Tesla is really ahead of the game still when it comes to um, developing the full autonomous driving. I'm looking into Grünheide, Elon Musk is in Grünheide and he also mentioned again the frustration um, about the, um, yeah, kind of the regulators and all of that. But again, the meeting um, seemed to have um, worked pretty well, pretty calm. A lot of questions that, um, for the next few months um, are discussed, but it doesn't look that there will be more delays. Um, I further explained yesterday on my video as well, so just um, check that out because I'm living here in Germany. I do have the information. Um, it is not always as negative as many people state that or write in the comments, not on my YouTube channel, but in general under articles about Germany. It is actually not as bad as mentioned. Um, the people that are actually trying to go against uh, the project, they do have the right to do that. We are in a demo, uh, democratic state, so everyone can issue their opinion and everyone did that. So yes, there might have been a delay, but the delay was as well because Tesla changed plans. And that is something that many people forget. And I don't mean that negatively to Tesla, but it's not all about the people that are against the project. So everyone can voice their opinion. And of course, the two environmental groups are an issue that I do agree um, is a big problem here because there is no pure, uh, like really a big reason for that to go against that. For the regular people that are living around the area that might, might be frustrated about such a big factory, well, they do have the right to raise their voice and they will be heard, um, they will be listened to and that is what happened. And after that, um, there will be a decision made. And I'm really confident there will be no big or bad <laughs> surprises here. But at the end of the day, it is a, dem a democracy and we can, um, we have to listen to many people out there and their opinion, even though it is frustrating. So I hope you did um, enjoy my comment here, especially at the end of the video, because it's sometimes pretty um, yeah, frustrating for a German to listen to the ne negatively um, uh, yeah, newspapers in other countries because it's not as many people think. So I hope you did enjoy my video today and I wish you all a wonderful day, guys. Take care.